Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? So I wanna show you a quick tutorial on how to use the mask tool. So the mask is very useful. So here is our sphere mesh and you have select mask and then you have mask. So select mask, I would use probably the rectangle. So let's say for example, I wanted to, so I make this square on the sphere. Um, so now the bottom of the sphere is masked. So essentially what this means is you can use the gizmo and will only affect the top part of this sphere. So you have a lot of things that that could be useful if you wanted to make uh, a pill shape. You can go back to the select mask and you can clear it. And then if you wanted to do something else, so to say you only wanted a section of it, you can also do, I have symmetry on, you notice that's why it showed up on that side. Uh, but you can also do interesting things by going here and inverting. And then you have, you can use your gizmo and you can do some interesting things with this. Maybe you wanna stretch it out or something. Maybe stretch it out this way. So you can make some really interesting shapes with a select mask as you would need. Anytime I usually do something like this, you might wanna just voxel remesh it and you can smooth out these areas that look a little funny. And of course, uh, as usual, you can just remesh higher if you don't want it to be, you know, if you need the edges a little cleaner or something like that. So there's a lot that you can do there. Also, another thing that I do, let's just go back. So let's just say, you know, this is like a little character. Let me go ahead and clear the mask. So I might take gizmo and just flatten it. And we'll make something really quick here. So I'll just clone it. And then this one I will mirror. And I'll just name this ears. So I'll take the gizmo, I'll move them up. I should have actually been on the, uh, when I moved it, I should have been on just the sphere. Actually, let's make them straight. I have to be careful because once I start like making art, then I just kind of, I get a little crazy. Okay, so let's say we have this. I'm just gonna go ahead and validate the ears and then I'm gonna join all these together and maybe around 250 to do this next bit. I'll go ahead and use round edge and just smooth it out. So let's say this is like a character's face and we want to make a mouth. So what you can do is you can take the mask, this little blob mask. So we still have symmetry on and all you have to do is just, let's say you just want to make a mouth like that. I'm going to use unmask. <laughs> I'm going to use unmask just to make it a little bit smaller, kind of clean it up a little bit. And one thing to note, if you're making like a mouth and you do the mask, it'll always be bigger than, it'll always wind up being bigger than what you want. So here's our little mouth. So let's go to the mask tool and invert it. And now let's take the gizmo and then you can use this blue arrow to move it in. Sometimes I even make it a little bigger once it's moved in, just to give the mouth a little depth like that. And then you can go ahead and clear the mask. And sometimes I'll box or remesh it again, just to kind of solidify up the mouth a little bit. Smooth it out, especially inside. I like to smooth out those wrinkles. So something like this. And I might take drag. I might take drag and pull up the sides a little bit if it's a happy character. And that's an easy way to make like a mouth. And then of course, uh, let's call this the head. And of course, if you make teeth, you've seen me make teeth a million times. And you can also use a select mask if you need to make like, let's say we wanna make like a really thin line, almost like this is two pieces together. Of course we could trim it, but sometimes we just wanna make like a line kind of going across. So what you'd wanna do is just make sure you're in orthographic 
and just use your select mask and make sure you hit front and then just make wherever, wherever you'd want the line to be. So let's say this is like a toy or something. So we make a line there. And of course I'm using a select mask with the rectangle. You can use these other options too. But I wanna make this really thin. So I'm gonna make it really close and really thin. And then I'll take the gizmo and just shrink it a little bit like so. And then we can go ahead and clear this select mask. And then you have like a line. So, you know, if you're making like a robot or something like that, then you can sort of make something like that. Oh, you know, if I turn it up to upside down, then it's like a sad face. But anyway, that's the select, uh, select mask and mask tool. I use them a lot. And of course there's a bunch of different options uh, for these tools, but it's just something that you should play around with and just have in your arsenal especially to make mouths and maybe even to make like eye sockets. It's a really useful tool. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. So there's just one other thing I wanna mention and it's this. So sometimes when you're working with the select mask and you try to uh, make a move, you'll notice that it'll pull out the backside of the mask. So I'm gonna undo that. And essentially what happens is, let's see, where is this option? Let's go to the mask tool. So if we go to the mask tool and we go to this little pencil here, uh, you can find the filter. So in the filter, just go to front facing vertex only. And that will just, that will keep it from uh, going through to the back. And you can see it was, it seems like it was just the select mask where it did it. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna tap that uh, here too. So that's what the issue was. If it goes, you have to make sure to go to filter and go to select mask if you have that issue. So now I should be able to just uh, take the rectangle and close off the back. And uh, then I can continue to make these, uh, these eyes. Oh, and another thing you see that there's making, it's making impressions there. So the reason for that is we want to go back to mask and we want to mask off this little bit right here because that little bit is what's causing that little bit of uh, depression. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all.